Now, I'm so excited. Our next guest joining us here on the couch are locals. They have so much information, and they are the founders of the Covered Bridge magazine. I've got Bobby and Kim joining me today. How are you guys? Mm, so good. Thanks for having us, Kim. Yeah, Great to have you both. So congratulations. New issue just hit the stands. So talk to me about Covered Bridge, and, and Kim, I'd love to chat with you about it. You know, Tell me a little bit about the magazine. What number issue is this? Mm, yeah, so... Covered Bridge is two years old now, and this is our fifth issue, so it's a semi-annual publication. Comes out in December and June every year. We also have digital, so you can stay connected with us year-round. Um, but we really saw, so Bobby and I own a publishing company, a media company in Westvale. It's called Jot Media Collective, and we have two other print publications and four titles total. And Covered Bridge is actually our, well, it's actually not our newest now, but it was our newest um, until recently. and. We just saw a need for a mm -hmm. magazine in this valley that really represented the locals and bridged our community from Eastvale to Gypsum. Absolutely, and I've seen a few of your other publications as well, but this is just so beautiful. I love the color, or the cover. <laughs> the artwork on it is amazing. So talk to me, um, Bobby, a little bit about, about this issue. You know, What's different from the previous one, and how do you feel um, it displays what Cover Bridge magazine really is? Absolutely. I mean, from the start, we've always wanted to celebrate the Valley as a whole, then the mm -hmm. legacy that really brought everything here originally. But each issue, I feel like, gets better, better, and better. And this is the abundance issue. And what you'll mm -hmm. find in it is that common thread throughout the publication. Mm -hmm. So whether the article is about getting outside and training in the mountains, uh, whether it's about a great artist that's locally living here, that's creating art for you, it all has that theme of abundance tied through it. And uh, yeah, I, I say this every issue, but I believe this is my favorite issue. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love the passion behind it. So you mentioned the theme of abundance. Talk to me, I guess, Kim, I'll direct this question at you. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about what the theme, the underlying theme through it was, and how did you come up with abundance? It's fun to come up with themes because, you know, we have a small team and sort of spitfire back and forth of, you know, what are we feeling? What's what's the, the vibe going to be in December when this comes out? And we had a wonderful summer issue, and we just rolled right into, you know, what do people want when, when December hits? Mm -hmm. We want snow here <laughs> in the valley. Uh, we want time with family and friends and time to get out on the slopes and feel, feel that abundance in our heart. So that was the initial inspiration, and then it just comes together from there. We have a section in the front of the magazine called Voices of the Valley, where we have three locals speak to the word or the idea of the theme, so awesome. abundance. So you can see right in the, the start of the magazine that we have locals talking about what that means to them. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And so in regard to the stories, like, and Bobby, tell me, how did you collect all of the stories for this, and how did you decide which ones are going to make the cut? Oh, that's lovely. a tough question. No, I mean, that's, it's a great question, and especially for me, because I actually get to handle all of our marketing and partnerships. Okay, great. You know, and I get a loose, uh, voice on what goes in the issue, okay. but we have a great editorial team mm -hmm. um, that really comes together. We get a lot of great pitches from local journalists, journalists that are in the state, all freelance workers, and then the team sits down and we kind of discuss really what fits the sections that we're looking for and then also that theme that's kind of underlying. It doesn't have to be directly related to abundance, but how does that story tie into it? So it creates that cohesion throughout the magazine. Um, but I wish I got to pick everyone that went in there. It'd be all articles about outdoor and adventure and dogs. maybe very, yeah, lots of dogs. <laughs> um, but because Kim and the team has a say on it, they, they put together a well-crafted magazine that covers everything we like to do from style to fashion to, you know, going out to your favorite restaurant. Well, I love the tagline, crossing leisure and adventure in the Vail Valley. So mm -hmm. that gives an article for basically everyone as, as they come in. Mm -hmm. So Kim, I know this is really focused on the locals here, but it's a great way for any tourists and visitors to really learn more about our valley. And what are you hoping that they get from reading this magazine? Mm. Yeah, we have a section toward the end of the magazine called Live Like a Local. Mm -hmm. And in celebrating Just our locals. Flip through it. Yeah, <laughs> in celebrating our locals, we really get to inspire our visitors. I love you know, that. This. From local to tourist. So this is a local that used to live here mm -hmm. and actually moved away and got to come visit again and experience the valley as a tourist and Vail Village as a tourist. So yeah, just um, having anyone pick this up, whether they live here or they're visiting and get so much out of it, information mm -hmm. like Bobby was saying on great restaurants, um, awesome outdoor adventure, gear, 
So if you live here, it's, it's perfect. And if you don't live here, it might make you want to become a local a little more or at least live like a local for the time that you're here. Oh, it's just got stunning pictures and articles. And then I love the artwork on the cover. And so you are also partnering with TV8 mm -hmm. and doing a lot of live interviews with um, co content creators and contributors to the magazine. So tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so we have actually Max Rowe is our cover artist and we'll be interviewing him um, soon. And it's so amazing that this is a piece of art and I don't know how much you can tell from seeing this on television, but it, it really pops. We've gotten such amazing feedback on this piece of art that is our cover. And so we get to feature this as well as a story on Max mm -hmm. and really his inspiration for creating art and for creating a cover piece. It um, looks like a photograph. I know. <laughs> just from the distance, you yeah. know, it looks like somebody just snapped a great photo of it. But when you yeah. look up close, you can see all the brush strokes. Yeah. It's really great. So mm -hmm. what other things can we expect um, from the TV interviews you all will be doing? Yeah, so we'll be chatting with Baba Beauty and Wellness. So Madeline and Avon has opened a new beautiful spa, day spa um, in Avon. We're talking to Jen Brown, the executive director of Vail Veterans Program. They're celebrating their 20th anniversary in March. Wow. Uh, we're also talking with Brett and Tam Donaldson, who are local athletes and coaches, on a, an article titled, There's No I in Athlete, and having community mm -hmm. and support around you as an athlete um, from coach to couch. You need recovery time too. And yeah. we might sprinkle in some more articles as well, but it's been really great partnering with TV8. Yeah, I think the TV8 partnership is really special, mm -hmm. um, mainly because of our goals and values. Mm -hmm. TV8 has a, a really big uh, focus on celebrating what is going on in the Valley from the local, again, bringing in the tourist vibe to that too, to show them great places to go, great places to people to meet. Um, so for us, it's really exciting because we share that core value. Mm -hmm. And it's great to be able to bring a story to the screen mm -hmm. and, you know, interview with people like you it's, it's pretty amazing that we have that partnership absolutely and I, I love the idea of community and how we really just so special here in the valley for sure now Bobby where can we go to find all of the publications all the things and learn about the covered bridge magazine yeah whether you're in Denver um, all the way down to you know uh, Grand Junction you can find covered bridge magazine it is definitely hubbed here in the Vale Valley, so you're going to see a lot more of it here. Um, I would say walking through the village, any of the kiosks will have magazines, any of the hotels that you walk into will have this publication. Hopefully your lo local favorite car coffee shop will also have it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you can also subscribe. Mm -hmm. um, it is a free publication, but if you want to get it directly to your, your mailbox you know, twice a year, Feel free to go online on our website, coveredbridgevale.com, and subscribe to the issue. Well, they're, they're gorgeous collector's items, too, and great to have on your coffee table mm -hmm. and just to have all of the collections of them. So this is issue number five. Issue number five. Issue number five, year two. Congratulations mm -hmm. to you both. I love the winter and spring edition of Covered Bridge Magazine. So thanks for coming on and for telling us all about it. Mm -hmm. Thanks, uh, thanks for having us. Absolutely. Now stay tuned. We'll be back with more right after this.